What is up, guys? It is your boy, Deafness45, and I'm coming back at you with another Throwback Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. Yes, football is back. I have the Bears and Packers game on in the background. I am so happy for football. But this throwback, which should have been football today, but I didn't have any vintage old football boxes or older junk wax boxes of football. So we got to settle with some baseball I got to get stock back up. I got a 91 Series 2 Top Stadium Club Baseball. These are known to stick in kind of what they call brick. Uh, so I'm going to show you kind of what I do to try to help when those packs are bricked. And we're just going to see if we can find ourselves a Bagwell rookie. Because that's pretty much all that's really in here. But the good fun of this is just the rip. Just going through them and just reminiscing uh, like we were when uh, in 91, man. We were buying these things. So 91, I graduated in 97. I'm just trying to think of in 91 what I was up to and what I was doing. Probably just being a little punk. So hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I'm actually been popping in a couple people's streams, checking different people out live, checking a couple premiere videos, and then waiting on back in the game here to go live. Seems like he's running a little bit late, but uh, can't wait for that. Always a good time. So if you haven't, make sure you get back in the game with back in the game collecting. Congrats to the man on just hitting over 1K subscribers. Many more to come, my friend. Many more to come. Steinbach. Roger McDowell. Dave Gallagher. Pedro Guerrero, Grandpa. Let's go. Albert Bell, I think. Oh, we got Mo Vaughn, too, right? Mo Vaughn. Did we just do the Mo Vaughn? Is this his... This is his rookie card... We got another move on to go up on the thing. This is awesome, guys. Move on, move on my lawn. And it's so clean. Look at that. His rookie card. How awesome is that? The first pack, too. How does that happen, huh? Willie Randolph. Matt Merlo. Danny Darwin. Craig Lefferts. Scott Bankhead and Rick Honeycutt. The only thing else that would make this box now complete would be a Jeff Bagwell rookie. Jeff Bagwell. But Mo Vaughn. How, how interesting. How interesting. All right. Try to get through these kind of quick. John Smoltz. That'd be his second, third year. All you Bro Braves fans out there. Mr. Smoltz, Junior Felix, Mark Witten, Bernie Riles, Gary Carter. Shout out to Carter's kids. Randy Johnson, Milt Tyler. Chili Davis. Good old Chili Chili Davis. I always loved how they put that rookie card picture on the back of these two. Jamie Navarro. Steve Farr. Jeff Kunkel. Mark Portugal. And I guess one thing I'd like you guys to do, or some of you guys to do, if you would like to, in the comments below, let me know... You can go either way. We're ripping baseball here, but let me know. It looks like Packers just scored a touchdown. Jimmy Graham in the end zone. Um, let me know who you feel is going to win the World Series this year. And also, if you want, it's football. Since it's the first regular season game of football, you could also uh, tell me who you think think before the season's just or with the season just kicking off here who's gonna be who's gonna be a, a team either a, a sleeper team or 
maybe even a Super Bowl team. I'd like to hear what you have to say. I'd love to read the comments. So if you would, that'd be awesome. Danny Jackson, Robin Yount, nice. Dave Rigetti, Anthony Telford, Jeff Innes, Tom Bolton, Checklist, Scott Lewis. I remember when this card for some reason like was or Scott Lewis, there was so much hype for him. Ken Oberfell, John Smiley, and Tim Leary. Alright guys, we're gonna try to speed up here. I don't wanna make this too long. <clears throat> now I get on in on the love these packs, man. They just crimble. So if they're a little bricked, here's what I do. Keeping them together. Just kind of give them a little bend, right? Just kind of break them up a little bit. So we got Daryl Lewis. John Russell, Mike Felder, Thomas Howard, Herm Winningham, Jesse Orozco, Joel Skinner, Tim McIntosh, Lance Blankenship, Mike Brodeker, Jeff Montgomery, and John Orton. All right, guys. Such fun ripping these. All right, that's what I would. That's how I would unbrick them, per se. If you call them bricked, Jeff Montgomery. Hey, John Orton. We're following suit from the last pack. Sean Bowski. Renee Gonzalez. Mike Witt. Mike Heath. Lloyd McLinden. Hey, Smurf dog. Crime Dog, Smurf Dog, Fred McGriff, Chuck Mallory, Tom Lampkin, Jeff Reed, and Rich Rodriguez. Alright, guys. Speed this up a little bit here. Who? Gary Guy Eddie. Look at that. Not in a twins uniform. Joe Carter. Ken Daly. Rob Kipper. Dwayne Ward. Andy Hawkins. Stan. Belinda. Jack Armstrong. Steve. Michelle. Rick Dempsey. And Roberto Kelly. I'm going to kind of fly through these a little bit quicker. Now that we kind of get a gist of what we see here. Not really going to go through all the names as much. If we hit something, awesome. I'll kind of stop. Get the gist. This camera, really you know. Risk. All right. Well, who's all getting ready for that 24-hour stream, basically a week from tomorrow, that I'll be doing? It's going to be pretty crazy. Gene Nelson, Mike Stanley, hopefully I don't let you guys down. Steve Cersei, Kevin Apier, Ward, or King. Andre Dawson. There's the old Doss guy. It's a nice. Gerald Clark. Rich Bushers. Gerald Young. Barry Jones. Alright. Alright. Nunez. 
So another move on, move on, move on, my lawn. That's awesome. Two move on rookie stadium clubs. Let's get that Bagwell, guys. Let's get that Jeff Bagwell rookie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Still having issues with my dang sinuses. It's because of the weather changing and everything. This is one of my. I have a little bit of asthma too, and it's fine during the summer. But as the weather turns and as it starts getting into fall, it gets really bad. Like my like my breathing. That's the only time of the year I have to use my inhaler. It's like the fall, the fall and the winter time. difference in the air. I gotta get my air purifier going again. Uh, let's put these over there. Okay, we... So Johnny Allerud. strikes first with the first touchdown of the NFL season to Jimmy Graham. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't seen much of Devontae Adams or uh, MVS or any of them. It's been kind of quiet. A quiet offensive game so far. forward to seeing my Vikes this weekend. Skull. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. We need one of those Bagwells. Come on, Bagwell. Griff. Seen a lot of the same cards. Same cards we've already gone through in previous packs. Making it difficult on me to get this bag. Well, I've got two of my boy Mo Vaughn, though, man. That's how awesome is that? Two Mo Vaughns. Some Mo hype in. The stream, boys. So, double the mo in the stream. Double mo hype. Again, we're seeing these same cards that we just saw. I've seen some without the all the stuff on there too, the logo. It, 
I have another box of these. I was opening a few packs before <clears throat> a while ago, and uh, like a bunch of them were missing the, the Stadium Club logo. <clears throat> Scott, Lynn Davis, Tommy Gregg, Danny Jackson, Jack Clark, Wilson, And Rogers is going back to work again here. He's already back on the field, the offense. Hmm. I think my boy Cook is going to tear it up this week. Dalvin Cook. He's going to have a monster season. Monster season. I see him finishing, possibly, if he stays healthy. Top 10 for sure. Maybe even top 5 for running backs. He's going to be a workhorse this year. And I am pretty excited about that Matheson kid, too. And I think Cook is as well. He loves that kid. Yeah, what do you guys think about also the whole thing going on with Antonio Brown? So here's my take on that. I know we're opening baseball here and we're talking football, but I'm kind of a multi-sport guy and it is the first game of the NFL, regular NFL season so we're kind of in that mood and what happened today about Antonio Brown getting into it with the owner honestly guys my own personal opinion and I'm not a I'm not a psychiatrist therapist whatever um, I don't I don't pretend to be I guess but I think I don't know if it's due to just him playing football so long in his life you know how they say there's those issues with people in the, the brains and stuff with so much contact I honestly think there's something more going on and it's sad honestly I personally feel it's sad like I don't think he I think there's like some kind of imbalance or something and I, I don't know I don't know Tell me your opinions, your thoughts, what you think. If you are into football, if you do follow football, Treadway, Dave Smith, first. I mean, we can even go on the basketball side of things, too, with the whole, what do you think about Zion? I don't know. I mean, here's, people have heard my opinions on the whole hype thing with certain players and just hype in general. Like, eh, I think we got it, guys. I think I just saw it. I think I just saw it. Yep, there it is. The Jeff Bagwell rookie. And it looks pretty darn clean, guys. Pretty darn clean. So clean. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Nice. Um, Chucky Knobloch. That's his rookie. The old twinny. Over Bell. And we got another. Oh, how amazing pack, guys. Movon rookie. Knobloch rookie. And a Jeff Bagwell rookie all in the same pack. Wow. That's incredible. That is incredible, guys. Let's see if we get some more. Like it was running the other cards. There's a McGuire. It's a cool card. Showing his tops rookie. 
Um, the whole hype, it's like Wander in baseball, Wander Franco, and it's like Zion now. Like, their hype is so much, and their value, their stuff, of where people see it and they sell it for and try to sell it for and whatever, it's like a, a price gets to a certain price, and hype gets to a certain level, in my opinion, where no matter how well they do, I mean, unless they're doing, like, something that's just insanely crazy, like, just breaking some crazy records and something, like, value to me personally is not going to get really any better when it's peaked, when I feel it's at, like, a peak point. So that's why, like, even people say, you know, if it's not someone you piece or whatever... You know, and you get someone at that time, sell it. Sell now. And I personally think that's the best thing to do in a Zion case. And even in a Wander Franco case, personally. Because it's the guys like that, that they have to do so much. I mean, and they have to do a lot. They have, you know, they can be great and they can be stars and whatever. But the rate and the price that their stuff's coming out at. I mean, let's look back at guys like... Even Mike Trout, right? Trout, you could buy his rookie, like those rookie cards for, heck, probably a dollar, two dollars when he first, when he was first a rookie, when he was coming out. Let's look at, you know, heck, anyone, even LeBron, even LeBron with hype, right? His cards still didn't sell for, like, tens and thousands of dollars and whatever else, and they didn't have, I get it, the... The way cards have gone these days, it's a little bit different with, like, super refractor autos and all that stuff. But at the same time, you're going to have other guys out there, like, find some other players that you like, whether it's baseball and you're prospecting, or it's football. If it's football, personally, besides PC, if you're looking to do something to gain value to sell, in football, in my opinion, we talked about this, I think, even in the uh, car ride up to the National but you need to you need to you need to prospect or you need to get quarterbacks. Like quarterbacks is where the value is when it comes to football cards, right? Basketball try to go after some of these other guys that you feel these youngsters that you feel are going to have a huge year because I I can tell you that Zion's probably not going to be the best rookie to come out of this year. There's going to be somebody else, whether that's Morant, whether that's, you know, um Culver, I mean, who knows? But that's what I'm getting at. Like, I think personally, in my opinion, you get a hold of cards like that while you're ripping, that's awesome, that's great. You, you know, you can sell them. You can uh, take care of some things, maybe some bills. But I would be going after other guys that I feel are going to be big stars and that you can get at a more affordable price. I don't know, the whole Zion craze to me is just kind of silly. I mean, I'm, I'll am i get into basketball stuff more for, like, getting Culver cards and, and other guys like that, Morant. And even there, even there, their values are going to be a little higher, but they're not going to be Zion prices. So, I don't know. In the comments below, let me let me hear your thoughts, your takes on if it if you want to do wander if you want to talk about zion who you think uh football what you think personally if you do collect football where the actual value is if you were someone who was trying to sell and make money selling no i don't i don't sell stuff to make money if you guys haven't been in my auctions if you haven't seen what i sell cards for of like rookies and stars and stuff um, you're gonna you're gonna see that my prices are nowhere even close to comps on most things. You know, here and there there might be a card that a couple people bid up on and they get around comps or they get close to just because they get in a bid war, and that's that. But in reality, most of the stuff you're gonna see from me and what I sell and my prices is really just to get cards in the hands of others who are looking that either PC the player. Or maybe they're going to turn around and try to make more money on it. And that's fine. To me, it doesn't really matter. I just like to get the cards in the hands of the people that want them. That want to PC them, that like them, whatever. So, 
getting down to the end here. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can grab another Bagwell or another Mo Move On. We got two Move Ons. We got. I still can't believe that pack. That was the pack to get in '91 out of a box. Out of all those boxes, man, crazy. Another Glavin. And that glare is kind of... I apologize, guys. The Phil Plantier. I remember Phil Plantier. Alright, guys. We got four more packs. And then we're out of here. But hey, it's been actually a really good box. A couple Movons. Oh, another Knoblox. So if these things go in series, there may be... Another mowing here, there may be another bagwell in here. And it may not, it may have gotten cut on a certain spot. We'll find out here. So checklist. There it is! Look at that. Two bagwells. Huh? Another one. So clean. So clean. And a knoblock rookie. Another knoblock. Corner's a little dinged on that, but the bagwell looks perfect. Alright, guys, we got two more. Come on, these packs. Alright. Alright, a couple more packs here. Glavin again. That corner's bad on that one. Bell, Perry, Smith. Nice box. Man. Sweet box. Alright guys, we're almost through it. If you guys have made it this far, you guys are awesome. You guys are you guys are serious troopers. You guys really enjoy the junk. And boom! Three Bagwells. Let's go. Another Knoblock. The card we are looking for. Mainly in this box. And Mo was... An awesome surprise, and he came twice. Man, how awesome. Maybe again, let's see. How cool was this box, man? And these weren't stuck together that bad. Like, this was actually a really fun, enjoyable rip. All right, guys, that is going to do it. So we had three Jeff Bagwells. Two Movons, a couple Chuck Knobloch rookies. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this, please smash the like button. Again, comment below. If you've ripped some of this um, lately or in the past, remember, uh, do you have the, the Jeff Bagwell? Do you have the Movon Stadium Club? Let me know your thoughts on the old 91 Series 2 Top Stadium Club or Stadium Club in general. Um, I even love the product this year for the new 2019 baseball. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm about to go catch up and watch back in the game. So if you not, and if you haven't, get back in the game. Peace!